of exponential growth? Well, it's this equation right here. It's y equals a times e raised to the bx power. So a is the initial quantity, e is the natural base e, 2.71. And uh, let's look at an example and we'll show you how to work with this formula. So the number of insects is increasing according to the law of exponential growth, okay? After four days, there are 200 insects, and after six days, there are 800 insects. How many insects will there be after 10 days? Okay, so assuming that it's following this, you know, law of exponential growth. So what they're giving us here are basically uh, a couple of coordinates. They're saying after four days, there are 200 insects, and after six days, there are 800 insects, and we're trying to figure out how many there's gonna be after 10 days, right? So let's go ahead and solve for A and B, okay? These are our unknowns. Whenever you have two variables, you need two equations to solve for them, right? So we're gonna put 200 in for Y, okay, equals A times E to the B times four, right? That's our first equation. Our second equation, we've got 800 equals A times E to the B times six, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna solve for A and we're gonna substitute it into the second equation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide by e to the 4b. So we've got 200 over e to the 4b equals a. We're gonna take that quantity from this first equation and we're gonna put it in for a in the second equation. So that's just a substitution, right? So we have 800 equals 200 over e to the 4b times e to the 6b, right? And remember, anything divided by one is itself. But when you're dividing, what do you do to the exponents if you have the same base? You subtract, right? So 6b minus 4b is just going to give us 2b. So we have 800 equals 200 times e to the 2b, right? 6b minus 4b, 2b. We're going to divide both sides by 200. So if we do that, we get 4 equals e to the 2b. Now because our variable is in the exponent position, we're going to have to take the log of both sides, in this case the natural log, since it's base e here, natural log of both sides. These are inverses of one another, they cancel one another out. We get 2b equals natural log of 4, and uh, if we divide both sides by 2, we get b equals natural log of 4 divided by 2. So we'll just get a decimal approximation for this one, just so I can show you. This is uh, natural log of 4 divided by 2, it's a 0.693. Okay, so we know that B equals 0.693. Now, if we put that B value back in here, we can solve for A. So let's go to the calculator, let's do that again. So we've got 200 divided by E to the four times uh, 0.693. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what that comes out to. 12.5, okay, so our A value is 12.5. So if we put all this back together into our equation, you can see we have y equals 12.5 e to the 0.693x. So that's our exponential growth model. But now what we're trying to figure out is how many insects will there be after 10 days. So we're going to put 10 in place of x here and then simplify. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We've got 12.5. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see, do that again, 12.5. Uh, 0.693 times 10, okay, 12,781 approximately. So 12,781 insects, and that's it. So there you go. So that's the exponential growth model, uh, y equals a times e to the bx. And again, you have two variables, a and b, so you need uh, two equations so that you can solve that system. So I hope this video helped you understand how to work with this better. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math videos on Mars Math Tutoring YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.